Two Kansas City area families bonded by tragedy are now suing a tracking device company. I don't want the rest of my life to think the only reason why me and her know each other is because our children were, were killed. The lawsuit comes after their children, 22-year-old Sarah Beck and 20-year-old Mikey Williamson, were victims in a 2022 double murder-suicide in Lenexa. Police say Sarah's ex-boyfriend tracked her with a GPS device. Unbelievable that it happened and, and the way that happened. It's a story I've been following for two years, and for the first time, the two families sit down together and share with me the change they're hoping for with this lawsuit. It doesn't get easier. No. When you lose a loved one, you lose a piece of your heart. It gets different, but it doesn't get easier. For more than two years, Melanie Williamson and Desmond Teal have been grieving the loss of their children, Sarah Beck and Mikey Williamson. I sit at my desk and I have a picture of him there in. I just think every morning, how did this happen? Like, it's like a crazy nightmare. That nightmare began in February of 2022. Lenexa police say Sarah's ex-boyfriend shot and killed Sarah and Mikey before taking his own life. They also believe the ex-boyfriend put a tracking device on Sarah's car, leading him to Mikey's house. I want to know that after this happened that we did something about it. The two parents formed a bond after meeting each other at their children's funerals. That bond has helped them get on a path toward healing and seeking accountability. We're here to bring light onto this. Have something good come from it. Yes. So they don't, their deaths are not totally in vain. The two families are now suing Spytech GPS, the company they claim sold the tracking device to Sarah's ex-boyfriend. What is the message you all are trying to send with this lawsuit? We're not going to stand for this. We've got, we got to have laws that keep up with technology. People need to understand how dangerous, dangerous that it is. In this 24-page wrongful death lawsuit, the families accuse the company of designing and manufacturing a device and app which are negligently, recklessly, and intentionally designed for the purpose of covertly tracking unsuspecting individuals. Nick Brand is representing the two families. The wanted outcome is to get some justice for these families. The wanted outcome is to make some change. In response, the company denied the allegations and added the ex-boyfriend's use of the product at issue constituted a misuse of the product in a fashion that was not reasonably foreseeable. I don't want average Joe public being able to have them. Businesses can have them, that's fine. I don't want average Joe, Joe to have them. That's the kind of change Desmond and Melanie are looking for with this lawsuit. They have seen some wins along the way, like Kansas strengthening its stalking laws following our reporting. They think it could go even further, and Desmond and Melanie are still waiting for Missouri to make a change. I'm not going to tell you that we're going to fix, change the world. Well, I'm going to try. A battle they're not willing to lose without a fight. It's the last thing I do. I'm going to try. In Missouri, a lawmaker introduced a bill that would ban someone from putting a tracking device on someone's car without the owner's consent. And for the second year in a row, it did not move forward. I also reached out to the attorneys representing the tracking device company. They did not get back to me. For the KSHB 41i team, I'm Cameron Taylor.